Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly guided message. So this forecast is for, you know, for whatever important message that needs to be conveyed to you. That's going to be our focus. Anyway, let's take a look. Okay. Mm. All right, these are the dream symbols for you this week. You're starting to become more and more, let's say, more careful, okay? And you're starting to identify those people that are being sincere and insincere. And you're also trying to disseminate, like, if this person is, like, only after something, if they're being genuine, they're being friendly, or if they're just, like, trying to string you along, okay? You don't really buy all the people's intentions towards you. It's like you can see through them. And Capricorns get actually, like, really good at that, okay? They could narrow it down. They could really read your mind, and they could smell all your BS from miles away. All right, so... If you dreamed of flying, especially if you're like flying so high and you've been like flying over the, you know, the, the buildings and the trees, you can um, even touch the clouds and something like that. And you've been like flying for like a long period of time. It means that whatever adversities that you're going to be um, going through your life, you will be moving past it with, um, with pride. Okay. You're going to be moving past and you're going to be surpassing all of your adversities. People that are, that are trying to block your way, delay you, and trying to pull you down. Okay, You're going to be overcoming all of them. And you're also starting to learn the art of life and the um, probably the language of forgiveness as well. Okay, So you're starting to become more and more smart Okay, and uh, intelligent in terms of dealing with life's adversities. You know, the thing about Capricorns, the more you make it harder for them, the more you try to bring them down, the more you try to challenge them, the more they will just get stronger. The more they will just get even wiser. Okay? So, unlike any other signs, you know, I feel like Aries is also like that. Uh, cancer. Uh, probably Virgo as well, okay, that the more you bring them down, the more they will just get even stronger and wiser. And yeah, it's, uh, they'll just become more of a warrior and a survivor. Okay. All right, so what's going to be blocking or causing your energy this week? Oh, making money. You're going to be very work-focused this week, okay? Just make sure to, you know, like uh, probably take, um, what do you call this? Like uh, pay attention to your health. Pay attention to the things that you really need to put first, okay? Money is very important, but it, it's not as, as important as your health, all right? But you're going to be making money quickly this week. And it seems like you are, you, you just become more of a strong manifester. Even if it's not just money, you know, it could probably the changes that you want to have in your life, the directions, people that are blocking you, you become more and more aware who are the people around you that are true and not, and who are the real enemies or not. Unfortunately, most of the people that you've already segregated and filtered, <laughs> maybe that there's only like one or two that's left that is, you know, like they're really genuine. Okay, so it doesn't matter. All right. Somebody is also strongly stalking you. Somebody's been um, intensely following whatever it is that you're doing, what are you up to, your platforms, your businesses, whatever it is that you're doing. Probably if you're in a public eye, you know, they've been like stalking you, signing up for like a lot of fake accounts. Somebody is also trying to defame you or slander you online. Pretending that you are the one who's contacting them. And this person loves to feel important even though they're not. Okay. 
Um, I'm picking up somebody who's a fire sign, a water sign, an air sign, okay? This person loves to play very important, you know, like they love to have the center of the attention. Um, they're going to sign up a fake account and make it as you, okay? They're going to act like you and then they're going to be messaging themselves and then probably screen grab it to their friends and show that, oh, hey, look, you know, Capricorn's been like, bothering me again capricorn has been like really obsessed with me trying to stalk me blah 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 blah. but actually it's stage they're the one who's actually doing their own thing which is really pathetic okay for somebody who's been like looking for a validation and trying to get an attention this is the sickest way of you know that they could think of that capricorn is still into them capricorn might be you know like still lurking into them but if you know Capricorn very well, they don't stalk. They cut off people, you know, and they don't have any problems cutting off people. In fact, that once they cut you off, for them, they're already dead, okay? And they don't have any problems being on their own. So what this person is doing, people that they are showing this and who actually knows them will start mocking them, and they're the one who will be the center of the attention, which is people will start saying that this person is going crazy and really desperate and they think that people are still like it could be their friends okay their so-called friends and uh, they're thinking that uh this person will somehow think that their friends are still agreeing with them still like you know like laughing with them but this person won't even know that now they're becoming the laughing stock of their friends okay so Let's take a look. That's going to be coming your way this week. Ooh. All right. Speaking of, a, uh, speaking of a water sign, probably that this is your ex, okay? Because I got the four of ones. This person probably used to live with you, be with you, or wants to be with you. Okay, but, but they're stuck with you. Okay, somebody's very obsessed with you, Capricorn. This is a water sign. Someone who either wants to be with you, probably that they're trying to get your attention through this. Okay, I'm also picking up somebody who's a Gemini. So this person is strongly Scorpio that I'm picking up. Scorpio, Pi Cancer, Pisces. Probably that this is also somebody that you've dated around your workplace in the past. You've abandoned them. Oh, some of you, you might be dealing with a baby mama or baby daddy, and they still wanted to be with you, but this is their way of getting your attention. I, I don't know. This person loves to have the attention of other people, and they're trying to show to other people that you're still obsessed with them. It's so unlikely for a Capricorn to be obsessed, you know, FYI. So, because Earth signs are number one runners in a relationship. Number two, they love cutting off people. They're mostly fine on their own being alone. And they don't stop people, they let go. So I don't know what this person is trying to claim. Okay. And they're, they're actually the sign where money is much more important to them. If there is an obsession for Capricorn, it will be money, not person or not people. And they're very family oriented. It's going to hurt them, you know, to lose their family. But to lose a relationship, I don't know. Anyway. It's going to create a heartbreak for them, but I don't know. Capricorns are also like, um, they miss you, but they're not going to say anything. They're, they're just going to make it appear that for them, you're, you're long gone. Okay. So this person is somebody that either you walked away from, probably that you had a family with, 
probably that you've had sex with and had a child or offspring. And yeah, probably that this person actually wants to um, get you off the market. Okay. So you walked away from this. Look at this. This person right before you can... This person is also very war freak. You walked away from them, you moved away from them, probably because of their attitude, because of their behavior, okay? They're very chaotic, childish, narcissistic. Yep. This person costs you nothing but a lot of grief and miseries, okay? And that's why you have ended this. You don't have any intentions of rekindling this. But this person feels like, oh my god, where's my Capricorn? You know, like, where's my Capricorn? There is a third-party situation in the past. That's why you walked away. And you feel like this person is so karmic. And you don't really see yourself having a family with them. Okay? So, Six of Cups. For, for this person, you are their soulmate. Or you are the one that they really wanted to be with. Or probably their destiny. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. So, they're, you know, they want to be the queen. They want to be your queen. This person is like, okay, this person is only after the financial stability. Probably this is something that you have provided for them before. Probably they know that you can give this to them, that they don't have to lift up a finger just to earn a living or just to have a good life. Yep. Out of water signs, Cancer is the best match for Capricorns. Okay. And Knight of Wands and the Hangman. You fought so hard to create that change in your life. Okay, and now that you're already at a stable pace, just give me a second. Now that you're, it actually, you know, your life just gets even better. Even your business, your work, your finances, your career just get even better right after discarding this person. And that is something that they couldn't even accept. That you're moving on without them, you're happier. You're great, you're good. Probably that you have a lot more money now okay, than before when you were still with them. Because they, they still want you to be their... They still want you to be their um, inspiration. Okay? So... Yep. So this person's been like creating a lot of... Childish acts behind you. All right. Yeah, you walked away from this person. So, let's take a look. What could actually come into? Nine of Cups. Woohoo! Capricorn, you're going to be getting some good news. Yes, there will be a victory, probably a contract that's going to be in your favor. But don't say anything about this, okay? Just keep this to yourself, any good news. But um, like what I said, no matter how busy you're going to be, please take good care of your health, okay? Uh, single Capricorn, somebody is so... How do I say this? If you're a Capricorn woman, somebody really wants to have sex with you so bad, okay? If you're a guy, there is a woman who wants to seduce you and wants to, I don't know, just wants to have it with you, you know, just wants to experience uh, being with you. It's an air sign, air sign or fire sign, okay? Okay. <laughs> 
There's also an Aries. There is an Aries who will be challenging you. This person wants to betray you so that you can um so that you're gonna be um casted out in the snow or you're gonna be out in the cold. But there will be one water sign woman. This is not the one that you're with, okay? This is not the one that you're previously with, and one fire sign. <clears throat> They're the one who will be stopping this person <clears throat> into betraying you. Uh, uh, otherwise, <clears throat> this three are actually working against you. So what's going to happen? Six of Cups. You're a natural worrier, okay? You always worry about littlest things, which is just normal for a Capricorn. But you don't have to worry. You're the king of pentacles. You will be guided. Even if somebody tries to bring you down, like what I said, try to bring a Capricorn down. Try to give them a challenge. Make it even harder for them. They would just become even stronger and wiser, okay? You are the one who will be giving them their tower, their tower moment. Because no matter what they do, you're guided and protected. Okay? Two of Wands. Two of Swords. Judgment. And Chariot. There will be some changes. Okay? The changes, or it uh, could be a verdict, it's going to be in your favor. This people will just feel sorry for you. Will just feel sorry for themselves. One of them might also come forward and apologize, but it's going to be more of a fake apology. So please be careful. All right. Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. The River Queen. Flow, letting go, natural movement. The keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. The resting tree, patience and stillness. All right, so that's it for you for this week. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone, live the calls, just go and visit me at my website, sfangel.net. And if you want to join me on Patreon, the link is down there below. All right, have a great weekend and blessings to you.